white pants up Been running it up since last year I've been on my Poppin' me the brand new band, yeah No drip, just my texture Them kids sit back, my tab, yeah Bitch, we up, we lit We don't need no caps, yeah Bubble up Zam Alphas, it's your boy Zell May of Overall 99 ENT. You on the What's New 99 podcast with your boy Kid Creative Player, hey, artist man. of the bottom himself. He come hey, from man. the bottom. Let's yeah, go. we in the building. It's your boy Kid Creative Player, man. Straight from the city, you know how we coming. Overall 99 ENT, we back again. What's happening? What's up, 99? Yeah, Joe, what we talking about today, my brother? Man, we got, you know, we still, we still out here handling, handling this strong Black Lives Matter, but you know, most, we gonna try to keep it chill today. We gonna talk yeah. about, we gonna talk about a little, if we gonna start off a little bebop and see where it turns to, man, you know what I'm saying? We gonna talk a little bebop. Um, as we talked about last week, it was getting started, but I'm hearing Kyrie Irving, Dwight Howard, and some other people don't want to really play. So what's your thoughts on that? What you think, we, you think we gonna get it back? I mean, I respect that because, you know, what kind of, I respect where both of them coming from, you know, because the white feel like, if I'm not mistaken, I think the white was saying that we need to focus, him and Kyrie said we need to focus more on what's going on in the world today as far as our society and making sure we get change and, you know, for the better, you know, so I can respect them not playing and, and fighting for something better. At the same time, I can respect any player that wants to play, you know, but it's going to be other players that think it's more important to be out here fighting and protesting and trying to bring awareness to what's going on in the world today so we can have change because I can understand where they believe that sports can be a distraction. Because if you think about it, bro, when we took away sports, people's eyes was open to what was going on in the world. So people started to see what was going on and they wanted to, do something about it. When we took away sports, we had people fighting, talking about they want to come back outside. You know, and then we started seeing, you know, po police brutality and, and injustice. People were able to see it more because they weren't distracted by sports. So I can't understand why Kyrie and Dwight would sit down and say that we probably don't need sports right now until we figure this out. Yeah. Steven Jackson made that same point. My guy came on strong with a good point. LeBron said he can do both. LeBron. That's why I think I seen LeBron say, well, like, I think we can use the sport to bring people to this awareness. But at the same time, when you think about it, when they when we took sports away, it opened up people's eyes to the bad things that were going on in the world. Yeah. Now people are more woke and seeing how the government is using us and trying to divide us. And at the same time, I believe it helped us to keep us from, you know, being separated mentally. Everybody came together. Yeah. Everybody. When the government thought it, if this stuff was going to divide us, it brought everybody together. Every freaking race. <laughs> it brought us all together. You know, uh, we got some people who don't agree with each other, but more than any other time, I've seen way more races together now than it has ever been, bro. And I'm I'm proud of that, and I'm, I'm I'm actually happy to see people stepping up and loving each other more, and I'm I'm happy for that, man. Yeah, man. I understand what LeBron getting though. He want to get that. He getting older, man. <laughs> he don't want to lose the opportunity, bro. Yeah. That's one. That's one reason. But I think he do believe that he can well, okay. use the sport to bring awareness to what's going on too. Yeah. But you gotta have a plan for that, my bro. Yeah, and the thing is, LeBron probably been like, "Yo, I'm the one that been doing it anyway." So when everybody else wasn't holding it down. Cause see, when you think about it, when sports ain't been on, people been coming up with ideas or ways we can try to figure out how we can do stuff. They actually even taking the time out to, you know, make up laws and stuff now. Just imagine if we bring sports back. As soon as we bring sports back, it's gonna be less talking about protesting and what's going on in the world today. Cause people gonna be like. LeBron did this. LeBron did that. LeBron ain't going to do this. LeBron Jordan. LeBron Kawhi. Uh, Giannis. We're going to be talking about 
sports instead of what's going on in the world today. Like, and it's already slowing down. Every week we slow down from where we started it when we started protesting. But I think that's natural though. I think after a while, it is. It's natural <laughs> when you when like, you throw sports in there because Americans love sports, bro. Yeah, that's the that's the main thing. Boy, that NASCAR got them up. Boy, got them shook though. <laughs> They were talking about NASCAR for the past week. Oh the whole week they've been talking about Bubba Wallace. I'm like, bro, Bubba ought to be t- tired of talking to y'all, man, because <laughs> y'all ain't got nobody else to talk to. Bubba, hey, I done learned Bubba's whole background in one week. <laughs> Didn't know nothing about it. I ain't even know nothing about Bubba Wallace. All I knew was his name. Yeah. We out there trying to make a boo, man. You, we see what's going on out there. Uh, still happening, unfortunately. But we are going to try to make y'all laugh. We don't want to talk about politics too much this week. You know, we're going to bring it up. It's my people mm-hmm. now. You know, we're going to bring it up. But we're going to talk. We're going to have a little fun, man. Yeah, man. No basketball. I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of sad. By the way, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're on the YouTube. We your favorite Monday morning podcast. I know you feel it. But, man, we finna, mm-hmm. we changed up. We, man, we finna be transformational on this podcast. Let's do this. But it's a little but yeah, but and if you're not on YouTube and you on Spotify or any other platform, hit that follow button. Follow your boy. Let's let's get this started, man. We about to do big things in this thing. You know what I'm saying? I got I got. They new- don't believe. Them. They don't believe. Them. We just gonna have to take off on. Right. Let them catch on later. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but the, the one that gonna take off later, they ain't listening yet. So we gonna. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if y'all here early, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know what I mean? It's all love. Yeah, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all too. Yeah, man, but. Everybody can be 99. Everybody can be 99. Can't be 100 because we ain't doing no virtue signaling, man. We ain't out here. We ain't out here wearing Kenta Claus, man. You know what I'm saying? I, need, I, need, I do need a Kenta Claus, though. I ain't gonna lie. That, that crap was fire, bro. I ain't lying. I like Nancy. Nancy <laughs> yo, Nancy, you, um, I don't know about all this signaling. I need you to actually do some work, but uh, can you, um, pass a brother who got it to you? Better be a black girl, too. I ain't lying. You better get that from a black woman. I ain't playing. <laughs> I am not lying. You better get there from a black woman. We, you bought there from a white woman, don't be upset. But send me that link so I can put it on. You know what I mean? Yeah, we sharing our love, man. Send us a link. Yeah, man. Support small businesses. Black people, let's go. We got to get together, man. Get, get it together. We can support. We can support your business. Post your business in the comments. Show, show some love. We show some love. Yeah, man. It's all about showing love. Love, Trump. Don't try dark energy any day. Yeah, man. I believe. We're recording this on Trump. We're recording this on Trump's birthday, by the way. Ooh, I don't know nothing about that. Don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to support, bro. I had to support the. I had to support the movement, man. All birthdays matter. You know what I mean? All birthdays matter, not just Trump's. You know what I'm saying? All birthdays matter. My birthday matter. What's your birthday matter? I mean, to me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. That's my, all birthdays matter, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, his birthday matter to him. It don't matter to me. <laughs> Trump, I get you a cupcake, my boy. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's all I'm The orange icing on the top. Oh, oh bro. Like, oh, I feel it, though. But yeah, man. We got, Wes, I got serious questions, bro. Serious questions. I heard you moving. What the spot looking like? You gonna have that nice setup? What you say? It look good, bro. Probably gonna be one of the best apartments I ever had. Then it look good. It look real good. They got everything at that mall, bro. We living, we living good over there. So I'm ready to move. We moving Thursday. Moving everything out of this little joint. You know what I'm saying? Little walk-in closet, nice little bathroom. It's my room bigger than what I got right now. It ain't like I need a lot of space. You know, I don't do nothing but lay down and make music. Right. I don't know what I need extra room for, but I can take it. I can dig it through. Cool with it. I feel it. Shout out to Brazil, by the way. They've been showing a lot of love. We hit fifteen. We hit fifteen hundred subs this week. One hundred thirty k views this week. Let's go, mm-hmm. big, big mark for overall nine nine E N T. The closest you gonna get to a hundred. We love y'all, man. Y'all love us. We love y'all, too. I swear to God, I love y'all, man. Because y'all show so much love, bro. Russia, we love y'all, too. Oh, God. I love y'all, too, bro. Japan. But Brazil, y'all show major love. We've been seeing them stats. Yeah. And in them stats, y'all got some big talk going on. Y'all doing... And y'all sharing the music, bro. 
Yeah. They be sharing the music to like three or four friends at one time. I'm like, okay. So everybody looking it up on WhatsApp. We see y'all. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Oh, yeah. I know you. Some of y'all don't know what we saying. Y'all do. Yeah. <laughs> y'all don't hear the vibe, but I feel. It. They be in the talking about you got WhatsApp. I'm like, huh? WhatsApp? I ain't got that. I don't know what they be trying to say or what they be trying to send me through what's out, but hey, it's all love with y'all. Just know when this pandemic pandemic over, I'm coming, coming down there. We doing a show, the whole over y'all. What's Everybody that? getting ninety nine shirts. Everybody getting ninety nine hats. We lit. Speaking of that, nice segue. We got that overall ninety nine merch. The link tree is in the bio. Go to the go to the sports the shirt spread spread shirt part. And click that link and buy you some merch if you have disposable income. I know a lot of people are struggling right now. A lot of evictions might be soon happening because rent is due and it just got pushed back and it's due. So, man, pray for your fellow man, man. I know a lot of people out here, that rent bill going to look crazy. And some of y'all don't even know what's happening. So, they don't tell you because the news be worried about other things. But it is, it's going to be, they saying it might be 300,000 people kicked out their apartments and stuff. So, we're we going to pray for them people, man. Yeah, man. So uh, let's pray for everybody. I'm gonna talk about that more probably on um just the regular talk show. But yeah, man. Some um keep prayers up. Now let's try to get a little positive. Now, let's try to get a little positive. Wes, let's talk. Let's talk about little, little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Let's talk about little baby. Little baby ain't missing. Talk about Dominique. That boy ain't missing, boy. Little baby ain't missed yet. The whole 2020. I mean, I rob, I, rob, I rob with baby, bro. I rob with little baby, man. I rob with little baby more than I probably rock with half of these artists. I was rocking with little TJ till he started doing the little wild stuff he was doing, and I was like, all right. So now I just, I don't know. I got little baby because he make his music and stay out the way. That's all I need you to do. I don't need no wild antics and then and doing all this clock chasing and stuff. Just make good music and be and chill, bro. You feel me? Don't. That's what little baby do, and I can rock with it. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I was rocking with the baby, but it's hard to agree with half of the stuff he be doing. He be slapping people in the middle of public and stuff. He just got uh, his court case. Yeah. The baby, yeah. he lost. He lost it. By the way, what we talking about is little baby. The bigger picture song just came out. Very lit song, I, bro. And it's a message, and it's lit, and it's a message. Shout out to man. By the way, Trav, shout out to Travis Porter too, bro. And he had Atlanta turned up after they burnt the Wendy's. They did. Anybody work at the Wendy's? I I got. I'm the good guy. I got to do this, man. I hope everything end up well. I hope you get a job, Quinn. Cause I got to, man. Y'all had nothing to do with it. Good. But Travis Porter had it turned up, buddy. Okay? <laughs> they did, and people were twerking all on top of cars. I was like, you know what? It's cool, but I'm I'm not in the mood for twerking right now. <laughs> I was like, they in the middle, it's probably 12 o'clock midnight. They is on top of the car. Bro, when it's on fire, bro. And next I to did a, not I want. Next to a gas station. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I support the protest, but y'all know we realize like y'all could die if that fire hit that gas line, bro. I did not see one female with a fat booty that was twerking in them in that video I seen in the I was like, what is going on here? I said, this is a lot of niggatry going on, my sir. I will not. I will not be a part of this. Swipe. I swipe so fast. But yeah, but shout out to little baby, bro. He made a bigger picture song. Made great points that I agree with. All police not bad. All black people not dumb. <laughs> Amazing points. Shout out to also since we shouting out music. Crip made a new song. Basically, somebody people been dissing him about rapping from his closet. Shout out to my guy Crip. Um, big thing. I see a lot of. Protest like songs. I will do something probably for Juneteenth. I gotta do something big for Juneteenth, my guy. So be be on the lookout on the YouTube channel for that Juneteenth stuff, man. Cause I'm gonna try to get it lit. What we can do is anybody that's that make music, we'll play your music on our podcast. Or anybody that has a business, share your business with us, and we'll share it with everybody else. Awesome. If you can, send us your stuff. We will promote it through our podcast and promote it on YouTube. Oh, what? We going live? You said we want to go live on Juneteenth? Live for the people. Let's go live on Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Wait, Juneteenth. Friday, Juneteenth. We going live on YouTube. You heard it here from West first. 
We going live on Juneteenth. We playing music, supporting small businesses, everything, man. I might do it. Showing love. I got to check on some charity stuff. Though. I might do a charity. Even though I got a lot of stuff to do this week because I'm doing a non-profit like, little school thing. But we're going we gonna to try to get it done. West can look into some charities, too. We're going to see what we do, man. Try to get some charity done, blah, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? Support small businesses and everything. We're going to look into it. So Juneteenth is going to be really lit. Uh, Takashi video with Nicki Minaj broke records again. By the way, I'm I'm not trying to sound like a hit. This is just with the music industry. Don't believe, numbers don't really mean nothing. I just want y'all to say that. But shout out to them, success man. West said called it last week. They gonna do numbers. They gonna do numbers. I, I already told you what's gonna happen. People gonna hate. People gonna hate. Yeah. People gonna love, and it's just gonna go like this. <laughs> By the, way, by the way, shout out to that music video. Cause I don't know what the song said. I don't know nothing. About, I I know one line. I know um. I don't know that one. All I know I, is trolls. Bro, all I know is one line. The line is literally, "I know you don't like me. I know you want to fight me." And I'm like, I kind of like. Oh, that I line. did hear him say that, but yeah. that was on the that was on the trailer that he used for promotion. Yeah, I I like that part. But other than that, I promise y'all were mesmerized by something else. Um. <laughs> Oh, I ain't even look at her. I'm tired of seeing her. Bro, I'm not going to. Bro, that I wasn't tired because I don't look at her, but it's been the uh, first time in a long. I didn't even. Every video, she doing the same thing. Bro, I ain't looked at the video, Working. so I was like, yo, let's go. With some colorful clothes on. So I was like, bro, you've been doing this for like 10 years. Like, I don't know what else. Like, I'm tired. Bro, I said, look, I said, the young kid said, bro, you 37. <laughs> Like she's still twerking with in colorful clothes, like with color for her on. That's almost every one of her videos. But I don't really watch it. But I like, yo, know, she's still fine. I ain't gonna like you want you want the baddest in the world. I ain't gonna lie about it. By the way, it, uh, B. Lou and Dummy V made a point. They said is Six Nine the hottest rapper? He the most controversial. And they made a point by asking, would people die behind him or rock with him that way, or did the people just know him and just want to see what he's doing? And they, they said. And they said he more controversial. He ain't like the more popping. Like you ain't gonna be like cut six nine on, but you gonna look at everything he do. So, and I'm like, that's a good point. What you think about that, Will? I don't, but I know these doggone social media outlets gonna use him to get their numbers up, like TMZ, <laughs> who post them every time he say something. And academics look gay ass. If he'll stop posting six nine every five fucking seconds, then we'll live. God damn, bro, 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 a dude played his song in Chicago and academic posted on the internet. I'm like, bro, I promise you, I promise, I don't care <laughs> that a dude in Chicago played his music. That is not the biggest news in the world. C- congrats, a Latino man played his music in Chicago. Okay, cool for him. Bro, yeah. I can block academics right now, and somehow he'll still find his dumb ass way on my chair. Bro, cause and TMZ like, and everybody, everybody report back to what he say, cause that's what they do. That's who they get the information from. Right. They don't follow him. He got a, a, a good outlet, but he don't use it for good. He just use it to promote his boyfriend. She's nine. But again, uh, quick little side note on that. By the way, I want to talk about shout out to my boy No Life Shack. He got an Eminem. Eminem uh, responded to one of his tweets, and that's big because Eminem don't respond to no one. And he just hit two mil today. He's one of the best reaction channels on YouTube. No Life Shack. Shout out to him, my guy. Easily won. Easily just got two mil today. Eight months after getting a mil, my guy. That's lit. He got one of the goats to holler back at him. Yeah, man. That man. He the one Will Smith had on his video because Will Smith watches YouTube. So Will Smith had him on his Instagram like, bro, I'm watching No Life Shack right now. I'm like, bro, I was following you at about, what, 600K? And, it, and since then, it's been a year and a half. I'm like, my goodness, you done popped off now, my guy. He had to put in, uh, he put in some work. That wasn't no pop off. He put in the ground time for that. Yeah, he did. He, been, he was doing YouTube for three years, man. And then all of a sudden, it started hitting, bro. So that's what we going to do. We going to grind it, my guy. That's what we've been doing. We done made it a little grip now. Yeah, we didn't got a, we didn't got a fan base. It just I was just gonna say we wanted a lot. We wanted a little hottest in the, in the, from the ship at this point in time right now. Yeah, so we about to grind it's this. Gonna crazy, 
it's crazy to say coming from where we came from and what when we started and how we started. Bro, we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, bro. My people actually listening to our music. People in high places know about overall 99 ENT, bro. That's crazy. They know the logo. They know the video. They know the logo. They know the the low slogans and everything. I'm like, this is crazy, bro. They know, but they be saying my tag, bro. <laughs> I'm a with a kid. I'm like, what? Every song stuck in their head. I'm. This is crazy for me. It's cheeky, yeah. but I love. It. Yeah, man. Cause it just goes to show, you know, you being from Mississippi can't stop you. You just you just gotta find a way out if you're willing to put in that time. You even leave the place and come back and bring something back to your home. You can still do it. Yeah. Yo. You know, you're pain, you're gonna go through some stress. You might be depressed. But as long as you don't stop, it still can happen. Yeah. Uh, West, gonna, West looking to do a few collabs, so we expecting to see some big collabs on overall 99 T channel. And not only West, I am doing some private trying to set up some big collabs. Uh, just give me a little bit. I'm I'm working on another little something for my nonprofit right now. That's my little personal project. But I'm gonna get on my grind. I'm trying to set some things up. So you're gonna see me on some other channels. You're gonna see some other people on this channel. We're gonna try to get this collab going and grow everything from the podcast to everything up. Bro, the, our voice will be heard. Just know, overall, that ain't your teeth. The closest thing you'll get to hunt. How you feel about the freeness that's left in the in the, uh, NFL, bro? The what you say? The free agents that they got left in the NFL. Who are free agents? Right? I ain't been keeping up with the NFL since Corona. Got Cam. Oh yeah, you Cam. Got a B. Jameis Winston. Griffin. Oh, Jameis with Saints. He ain't a free agent. He with the Saints. James with the same now, but uh, uh Javion Clowney, uh, free uh, uh Rhodes from um, the Vikings, they got let go. Yeah. Um, man, shoot, they can start their own team, be honest, and be nice. Cam is probably the main one, but a lot of people are scared because they don't know how he's coming back from the injury right now. So, a lot of yeah, teams he is he probably would have better fit with the Patriots because he wouldn't have had to do all that running around and stuff. Yeah, but they're trying to set up some stuff. Um, they can't really, like, interview MCI is back doing so That's And the people like, that don't make sense. Just sign them. I'm like, bro, they want to know how much they pay them. That's a, every business. Every business want to know how much you want to pay somebody. So they need to know, like, we can get them real cheap if he hurt still. You know what I mean? Versus if he's healthy, we got to pay him a lot more money. So they, they want to know. That's why that physical happens. Team going to sign him. Don't worry about that. Team going to sign him. But it's just about getting him in there to see how well his back hurt, if his back is hurting. And all that stuff, just to make sure he's good. Cause if it's back good, he gonna have to. He ain't gonna take no cheap. He ain't taking a cheap paycheck, my guy. He not taking a cheap hey, paycheck at boy. all. You seen your boy Antonio Brown? Man. Got two years of probation and a hundred hours of community service. Anto- a be a wild boy. But that was cause he lost his case with that moving company. Yeah, a be a wild boy. It's a wrap for him. He ain't coming back. Um, no more football for him, brother. Yeah, that's a big thing. Right now, what's going on? There's some other stuff going on in the world. We got, you know, we got to defund the police movement. We talked about that a little last week, but we got some other thing going on. Like I said, we got, like I said, we shouted out Samaya Savage. I'm trying to show love today. This episode is all about love. You know what I mean? We should. We yeah, yeah Samaya. Somebody go and tell Samaya. Hey, work with that boy, kid, creative player. He make his own beats and he fire with the motherfucking vocals too. So if we tap in and hit a million views, guess what's going to happen? I'm giving him all the royalties. I just need the subscribers. <laughs> Yo, man, we probably going to actually reach out. We probably yeah. going to reach out later to, uh, later this week or something to somebody anyway, because my guy, my man. He can have all the royalties. I, I just want the subscribers because I got a lot of other songs. I know they're going to like you. Mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I got a whole bunch of bags. I'm ready to lay, unleash the bag. You feel me? Yeah, I'm in my bag today. Yeah, man. Um, what else funny? Uh, you see, B Simone get canceled. Let's talk about something funny. Let's give. I need some clips. So let's talk about B. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let, let's go over the three weeks. Let's go. Let's go over the last three days. First, man, take it up, boy. First off, let's go over the fr- three weeks. First off, she was like, "I don't like the way y'all acting." And he protested. Everybody told her to shut up. <laughs> Shut up! You've been acting good on your whole life. You ain't got in the room to talk. 
Then she said she don't want no nine to five, man. Because she elevated, my guy. She hit that elevation. She up the high, bro. She on the mountain Guess top. What? Guess what happened? <laughs> Guy, I'm playing as fast as shit, man. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean, Wes? What do you mean? You don't understand standing up 3 a.m. in the morning, plagiarizing somebody else's work, Wes. You don't understand what it is to be up 3 a.m. in the morning and read a book and copy what the book is saying. You don't know what that feel like. I don't know. She probably got somebody else to do that thing and they wrote it <laughs> the right way or something. And they didn't. That's why she ain't said nothing. Bro, did you did you see? It's word for word, bro. Y'all, you didn't even change the words, man. You could at least change verbs, bro. There's multiple mm-hmm. verbs you can use. So that mean if somebody else did it, she didn't even take the time to read the book herself. So now guess what? That lawyer, he worked nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> and, man. and you better yeah. and you gotta call them bro you and now you gotta pay your little high level ass <laughs> <laughs> and if that lawsuit go through that off that mill you made off of it that little scrap up <laughs> you ain't got a mill no more so you you elevated you elevated back down <laughs> you elevated so yeah. high you back down you bro. That level you that bang? bring it back down right here you feel me <laughs> But for, yeah. real, but for real though, the honest topic on this, I'll probably talk about it tomorrow, Tuesday. Yo, always be humble in everything you do and don't be like, I elevate it because that's something we do and everybody just start agreeing like, I, you elevate to another level? No, bro. Chill. 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 You ain't got to say none of that. Just let it go. Yeah, if it's, yeah. If it's your preference, cool, but don't talk down like you elevated. Like you you better somebody. You better than a nine to five man right now because yeah. you up here. Yeah, like that nine to five man could work hard to treat you right. You worry about his job, then you worry about somebody else treating you right. Come on now. Yeah. But, together. Yeah, but I'm more yeah. for the um, Bro, I'm more for just if you if it's your preference, don't put down nobody else and talk about elevate. Like if you don't want a man that got a nine to five, cool. But don't like say it like I can't do that. I elev- it's a certain level. Like, no, you ain't on what level you want, bro. Mean? I guess she was trying to say that a, a nine to five man will be trying to eat off her because she got more money than it. Bro, but lo- just, like, lawyers and doctors are nine to five. People. I was just gonna say it's a lot of people that is working nine to five. They probably making way more money than she is. So she need to, you know, be more thoughtful before she speaks. That's what it is. Yeah. You know, be more thoughtful before you speak and let words come out of your mouth because people are gonna creep criticize you regardless but if you sound dumb everybody's gonna criticize you <laughs> yeah, yeah man like bro we all grinding we all doing all this you causing controversy man just somebody asked me a question that i know i don't fully understand how to express myself and answer the question the right way it needs to be answered i'm just be like you know what bro i don't even know if i can answer that question fully where everybody can understand it Learn how to shut your, like my mama used to say, learn how to shut your mouth when you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when somebody asks you a question that you don't know, learn to shut your mouth. Yeah, learn how to shut your mouth. People don't like shutting up, though. Yeah, bro, everybody, everybody want their opinion out there, bro. I learn when I don't know something, I shut up. Exactly, bro. If I don't understand something, I'm not going to step my dumb ass out in front of everybody and be like, ooh, my turn. No, I'm going to wait till I figure it out or go read something and try to research, do some research on this stuff first, or at least put myself in a position where I can have some experience so I'll know what the heck I'm talking about. Bro, bro I ain't finna go to West and be like, yo, bro, uh, about them hi-hats. <laughs> I don't know that about hi-hats at all, my guy. I know how they sound, <laughs> but I'm not finna tell Wes how to do his, what he do for a living, and I don't know what in the world I'm talking about. That's stupid. Like, yo, I'm like, so, yo, just do you, do you, boo, but don't. Do you, boo. <laughs> man, man, a lot of but yeah, It's man. all good. Yeah. Do her thing. Man, I appreciate she it. Out. I hope she figure it out. Yeah, man, I appreciate you and love you, though, Shout out. I hope you get it together. I'm rooting for you. I'm honest. Damn, man, I ain't, I ain't rooting against nobody, bro. 
Only, uh, only person yeah, I really almost, bro. Only person I know been canceled in my life is Vic Mensa, bro. Only person. They didn't cancel that man. They, they just didn't like his music. <laughs> Which essentially got him canceled. <laughs> <laughs> They just ain't like that man music, bro. It ain't they fault. <laughs> <laughs> ain't make no good music. <laughs> bro. Hey, bro. Bro be out here like he be making bomb threats with his music. Like, I don't want to hear not one song, my boy. Bro, my man start wearing dresses and stuff to get attention, and they're like, nope. <laughs> That's bait. <laughs> That's- I believe, bro. They did say that. I've been seeing people say that, but I, I think Buddy might be going through it. He just been switching characters like a mud like he in a video game one day he was he was a punk rock star or something i don't know man he should have slapped the academic bro that could have saved your life that would have made <laughs> <laughs> he would have got a you charge know? but then he could rap about it <laughs> ain't nobody did nothing to the academic yet bro because nobody take him seriously though but shout out to man shout out to act though man man gotta get it the way man y'all i might not Somebody. like the way you i ain't really he messed with the right folks. I'm gonna just say that. Bro, it's Juneteenth, bro. We ain't hating on no black people. Uh, I ain't hating on nobody. I just don't like one person, that Donald Trump. And that cause he be he be violent. He got too many people out here trying to fight other people and just because of the way he think and that's not cool. Yeah, but man, we rooting for we rooting for the people, man. Uh I wanna like show a little love to the families of a lot of people been lost this week. Through suspicious means, man. Um, California, we had two of them. I don't exactly know their names right now. I'm gonna get to it, get to it in a minute. I know the Simpson County Sheriff, Mr. Blair. I knew him from um working at Family Dollar. He took a mental health guy um from McGee, Mississippi. He was transferring a mental health patient. The mental health patient got his gun and shot him. So rest in peace, Mr. Blair. And hopefully the young man gets help or whatever he needs to get, because. It's weird. It's crazy times, and it's not good to do stuff right now. So, I hope everything good. Uh, Ahmad, Brianna Taylor, keep the names in in the uh keep their names up. Jordan, man, all of them, man. It's, we coming, man. With the, we gonna change the world, man. Y'all gonna help me. Y'all gonna help me. Y'all alphas. Y'all gonna help me. So we gonna change the world. Twenty twenty, we change. The, we turn it around. We gonna make this positive. Everything me and Trevor been doing. The, what we said, bro. We want to change the world, bro. Yeah, twenty twenty gonna be positive. It. So I'm I'm setting stuff up. We finna we turn twenty twenty around. We're gonna be paid everybody. This the worst year. I'm like, nah. If, if I ain't, if I'm a fight. <laughs> if yeah, it is, you gotta understand. Good things come from when you placed in uncomfortable positions, yeah. and we've been uncomfortable all twenty twenty. Yeah. Yo, so, when, no. when, when diamonds are made, my guy. When are diamonds made? When pressure, bro. When pressure. And it's pressure. So, you're going to see a lot of collabs. You're going to see some dope videos. We finna put that content out. Uh, with the 32-minute mark, so I want to get in. If you are on Spotify, can you please hit that follow button if you enjoy the content? It's still, man, it's still like, it's, it's not really like we making some jokes and it's still not as funny because... It's heavy still, you know what I mean? And it's kind of hard. to get, I, tr- I try to stay away from political stuff, but it's still yeah. heavy. If yeah. y'all want to get on here, we'll start roasting some of y'all if y'all want it. Come on with it. Yeah, but yeah, Juneteenth, I'm going to announce it on um, Instagram probably tomorrow. I'll make a video or something. I'm announcing on Instagram, a little small video. And I'll probably make a YouTube video tomorrow announcing it because, yeah, I'm pr- completely free. So Juneteenth, we're going to small business love. I'm going to try to get a charity. It might not be a charity event. It might just be showing y'all love, but we're going to try our best because it's going to be real quick. So we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to hit up some charities and see what we can do and see if y'all donate. I'm going to have a donation link because there ain't no super chat. So we're going to have a donation link. This going to be in the bio. So hit that. Uh, and yeah, we're going to try to get that live. I'm going to be live from the couch, man. I'm going to be live from the couch. Yeah. We're going to listen to y'all music and everything, man. Try to show love. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We send us your art, send us anything, anything that we can promote, show love. I know y'all are willing to do that. If you ain't willing to show love, you're willing to send some of your stuff that we can promote. We'll do it because we like showing love. Yeah, man, June 10th. We're we supporting black people this month, man. June 10th. Y'all about being positive and showing love. By the way, if you, you can't do nothing from us, you're going to get the love, positivity, 
honesty and confidence, motivation, anything we can give you to kind of lift you up, man. We here to help. Yeah, so Friday, be on the lookout for Friday. Um, we're gonna be on here. I think I'm doing it on YouTube. Might do it on Twitch, but it's probably gonna. I'll let y'all know update in the week if y'all watching this. I'd probably update it Tuesday. Let y'all know what's going on. Me and Wes will be back Friday, June 10th. I don't know what time yet. We ain't decided, but yeah, we're gonna try to get it there. We're gonna be on time and everything. And we're gonna try. To, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make a try to make some money for people, man. Try to support. Gonna listen to y'all music and everything. Should try to show some love. By the way, like I said, if you're on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. Give us a comment. Give us that like. To give us some input. If you want some, if you feel like we should do something else, talk about something. Let, let me know. Let us know, man. Yeah, 35 minutes in. We got. I want to go about probably 25 more minutes. So Wes, let's talk about relationships, man. How your relationship life going? Mine is trash. Quarantine is bad. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just say. People don't love black men like they should. <laughs> oh man, you gonna make me defend? You gonna make me defend the women? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, mean, I love women, but they too sneaky, bro. No, nah, y'all, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna do black women like that. No, nah, no, nah, fam. I ain't say black women. I say I love women. <laughs> oh, so you, need, so see, so you need a black woman. That's what you need. Oh <laughs> uh, no, you need. I tried. I tried that. It didn't work. You need you need your sister, bro. I'm always for sister. I'm 100. percent I need somebody who's gonna do me right. I don't care who you is. Point blank, period. Yeah, bro. I would love it to be a sister, but if I mean I can't fight stuff for trying to find a sister, you know, I want somebody who's gonna do me right so I can do them right. I just want to do right by people, and I need people who's gonna do me right. Now, we... I don't care what you like. I don't care if you're ugly, you stink. I don't care. We oh. figure it out. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we doing stanking? Okay. I mean. Juneteenth, we ain't. No, I'm supporting the sister Juneteenth, man. No, no, get you a good black woman, you know what I'm saying? We can fix that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, it been rough for me, though. But, but one thing I want to talk about is two single men can't really talk on this because we trash. <laughs> we gonna always be trash. We trash. We, 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 yeah, we trash. Nah, we just trash in general. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna bring some. Bro, I, I get bored too easy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm like, bro, what you talking about? Leave me alone. Get, get out my face. Get out my face. I love, I love you forever till you you do something. You know you ain't got no business, and like you know it. Like if you know it's gonna hurt me, you still do it. But you okay with saying sorry? Oh yeah, I don't need to be around you. <laughs> You cool with saying sorry every time you do it, you know you shouldn't have did. Uh-uh. By the way, to all the ladies out there, y'all, I love y'all, man. We don't, we doing that relationship talk. We doing that. We don't have to get that very white. You know what I'm saying? Girl, get that. Tell me how you feel about your significant other having your password to get in your phone. Oh, we, are we doing password talk? Uh. You can't you can't get on my you can't get on my OnlyFans, so you ain't allowed <laughs> you ain't allowed to have that password. But uh, yeah, get my phone password. I ain't texting nobody. Oh, I do got a lot of little sisters though. I don't I ain't mess with them like that. You know what I'm saying? They my little sister. Though. But y'all, so y'all got to deal with it. So I introduce y'all because I ain't trying to with them. They my little sisters. I'm trying to help if them grow and like I'm trying to help them elevate. You feel me? Because if it's my old lady, man, she she got. Well, I'm going to just say girlfriend because a lot of women don't like to be, you know, referred to as old lady. So, my woman. You misogynistic. Or, woman. She can, she can have my password, my phone. I don't know. What else can I give her? Shoot. She can have it. I just want you to understand that I ain't no. Just she get your only fan password. I ain't got no only fan. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> I ain't got no only fan, baby. You my only fan, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You my only fan, baby. Let's yeah. go. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like, bro, somebody get. Bro, somebody. You can have my, uh, my bank account. No, you can't have it, but. We gonna figure something out. I ain't gonna lie, I, bro. Somebody gave me one for free, bro. So I made one. I'm like, yo. She like, yo, take this. I'm like, bet. I'm finna make one now. I ain't lying to nobody. I don't care. <laughs> And then we try, I need, you know, I need that love where we can lift each other up, you know? Yeah. Of course, somebody to you and share your life, baby, look. But I'm single, so I can do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah.
I, I don't think it'll be a good idea to have no owner fans. And you need to get your girl. She's going to be mad. Yeah, I can't do that no more, bro. It was free, though. I ain't paying money. Y'all was tripping. But support, but, 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 but support y'all though, man. Support the queen, man. I only buy black this month. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm not, bro. You support you want to. I don't care. I don't care what you do in your personal life. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just making jokes right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what you do in your personal time. Me, just don't be hurting people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Doing wrong to others. You know what I'm saying. I don't care what you do to the companies because these companies don't give a shit about it. But just don't hurt people. You feel me? Because yeah. that could be a domino effect that could cause this person to go hurt somebody else. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's please keep the pain and all the hurt away. Just to love each other. Do yeah. Right by each other. Yo, let's talk about some serious stuff now. Let's talk about it. What's a what's a what's the end cap for you on a relationship? What's what what is it that is is automatically like yo this relationship? Like the this relationship like, is like. First of all, we gotta if we in a real relationship. Yeah. I can't. I, I'm. I'm very. I don't have no tolerance, bro. Yeah. So we in a relationship, you know, it's certain things you're not supposed to do. Yeah. So if you do it, that means you don't care. Yeah. So if you lie to me, some people say they can get three strikes. Yeah. I don't think I can do that, bro. Cause then you just wasting time. You feel me? Like we grown. Yeah. Ain't no need to lie. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a white lie. Like, bro, we grown. Tell me what's going on. I'm strong. I got, you know, we got to figure this out together. We got to come to a solution. It's always about coming to a solution. I can't deal with no woman who cheat. I can tell when people being sneaky. The energy can be read easily. Easily. Uh, what else? Man. Cheating and lying, but that's number. That's the top two for everybody. You feel me? I don't know what else I can say, man. I ain't worried about you not being able to cook. You know, we can figure that out too. Um, I hate to say it, but the sex got to be good. But I ain't, I ain't trying to focus on that. You know what I'm saying? I need to be a holy man. I need to be a home. I'm trying to do right. What's well, a grown man now? That's 18. Eight, hey, bro, in college, this podcast would have been a lot more. <laughs> when we was in college, these podcasts were being lit. Right now, we like grown men though. But we got so we got, yeah, yeah, we grown men. So we trying to do, we trying to do better than what we were doing. Bro, we would, this podcast, we would have said some crazy. Bro, we would have been canceled. <laughs> yeah, they probably would have put this on nothing. They would have blocked me. They, they would, we would have got canceled. I would have been talking crazy about everybody. But like I said, man, shout out to the Black Queen. My, mine is. I love them black queens, bro. I love it. I love every queen, man. Yeah, I love everybody though. I do too. I love man. everybody. It's Juneteenth though, so I'm like, I'm a really real hard right now. You know what I, mean? I got this. But I, I, I love, love them. I like to get on their love too because sometimes they feel like they don't get their love. You yeah, know? yeah, man. Well, especially from social media, they feel like they don't get their love all the time. So, black queens, I love y'all, man. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all for everything y'all do. It's black. It's black queen magic. You know what I'm saying? Black girl magic, man. I, speaking of that, I want, but I got to give up mine, man. Like I'm more, I'm way more forgiving than Wes. By the way, I am way more forgiving than you. I'm tired, bro. I've been hurt so many times. Bro. I'm tired, man. You done been hurt so many times. I... Ah. <laughs> hurt so many times. Ah. But but yeah. I, I but I'm more, my problem is I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of I get bored easy, and I just start like getting tired. And I'm like, yo, like you, you gotta be able to keep my attention. You can't just be basic, which is a I problem. Had that problem, bro. But that was, that was a problem I had in high school, you know. But that's the only reason I had that problem because I was young and I was moving around so much. Now that I done had time to be without a relationship, be in a couple of relationships that was, you know, more than two years, then come out of those and be by myself and have more understanding and see why those two relationships didn't work. Now I'm more so understanding, like, okay, if I'm really in, in love with somebody, I can't allow myself to be bored because, you know what I'm saying? When you love somebody, you got to figure it out, you know? Yeah, I ain't found, I ain't in, I ain't been in love yet, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. so you got to yeah. experience love first before you can. Yeah. So your next relationship probably ain't going to be your best, you know, the one that's going to hold forever because you're going to have to take some lumps, my guy. 
I I talk, but I don't be in a relationship. <laughs> like I I put mine in categories. I'm not gonna lie. I got I got like trust issues. Like I'm trying to dissect everything in every conversation. Like if you watch this YouTube, bro, I literally just dissect everything in multiple ways, and I will dissect you till you annoy by me, and then I'll be like, you know what? This gonna annoy me, and we can't talk. So like my longest relationship like three months. <laughs> I'm like, I need to do better. I, I'm learning how to accept stuff, though. This so quarantine. Because I'm going I'm to I'm read you. And, I, and most of the time, I'm a, I pay attention to everything. So I see what's going on. But see me, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to just let it. I'm going to let it linger. No, I'm going to play games. That's how. Like, I'm like, I know you like I can't do it. I can't play no game. It ain't going to be like no serious game. It's just going to be like mental game. You got to pass my mental hurdle. It's probably because in my life, the one person I was around is my brother who's in there. And, like, all we do is play mental games on each other. So, that's how, like, I love. <laughs> like, if you could win my mental game. <laughs> like, if y'all listen to me and my brother come to y'all, like, my mama, like, y'all are weirdos. But, like, he do it too. But, like, if you can't play my mental game, I'm like, yo, you lost. You out. <laughs> the game's over. <laughs> and I'm like, I need yeah. to do better than that. Bro. Girl, I, like you, bro. You playing them games on her. Bro, but I'm I'm serious. That's why I ain't in a relationship. And then I'm careful too because right now, like every time I see a girl pregnant, I'm like, dang, I'm 28. I want a baby. And I'm like, I gotta be way more careful, bro. <laughs> like my whole mindset, like I'm I'm really careful now. I'm even more careful than I was before. So it ain't about game no more. Just shoot, I might be like, yo, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm getting old, bro. I'm getting older. I ain't old yet, but I'm getting older. It's hard, man. A female been doing a certain, you know, acting or, you know, being a certain way for a long time, and she think it's the right way to be. Yeah. Like, then it's like, bro, that ain't how you treat people. Or that ain't how to treat people you love anyway. Or that ain't how you treat yourself. And then you got to show show them, like, hey, listen, if you don't do yourself this way, first you got to love yourself to for you to be able to love somebody else. And then, even then, bro, after that, like, you got to want to be willing to keep loving that person and keep that person happy so they can keep you happy, too, or want to stay around you and be around you and stay happy, too. It go both ways, but at the same time, bro, I got trust issues, too. And if I see you doing some weird stuff that my past relationship used to do, I'm going to be like, oh, yup. Yeah. I'm finna start distancing myself. I ain't gonna say nothing. Cause once you tell them, then what the first thing they're gonna do is try to either mask it or fix it. And it don't take one day to fix a problem. You can say, okay, I ain't gonna do that no more. Yeah. But if it happened again, then that means what? Oh, they ain't serious. They ain't trying to fix it. Yeah. But I'm getting better at life, bro. I'm working on myself. I was, uh, I was gotta improve myself. That's why I acknowledge my mistakes. I don't care if y'all know. That's why I say you need to be in a relationship so you will know your flaws as far as how you need to treat somebody because you ain't gonna notice until you get in a relationship and somebody be like, "Well, I don't like how you treat me like this, Joe. You need to stop doing me like that." And then you like, "Well, dang." Yo, quit getting my government out, man. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's how you're doing it. I'm playing though. It don't matter. People know I'm half. A lot of people know me as Trevor. A lot of people know me as Elmay. So it's interesting. Elmay CEO. <laughs> yeah, man, that's my middle name. By the way, if y'all didn't know, you know Elmay, the cutest guy in the room. You know what I mean? Every room, I mean. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. who else in there with you, nigga? Nope. <laughs> it's, exactly. I'm always alone, so you ain't got no choice but to deal with me. You feel me? It just me and you forever, God. So basically, you the cutest guy in the room and the ugliest guy in the room. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no ugly in the room though, my guy. Ain't no ugly here, so I don't know what that means. You see this smile, dog? You see this smile? I lost eleven pounds, bro. I look good now, bro. My, my shirt's big now. I need to buy some. Lost eleven pounds. No, bro. <laughs> bro, I, was, I, 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 hey, 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 yeah, it ain't, it ain't rose no more. We working still, bro. Give me. Bro, give me a few months, bro. Give me a few. Yo, we just losing this, bro. I'm at one ninety four, my guy. I was at two. I was at two hundred five. Let me let me get that. Let me. Let me get, no, that's too little for me, bro. I'm trying to get to my old. I'm trying to get to my. Yo, I'm trying to get. I'm one sixty five. 
I'm trying to get my monster weight, my high school football weight, where I was a beast, dog. I'm getting back to that beast weight. You need to get back down to 165 and muscle your way back up. Bro, I'm finna just muscle my way to 185. What you mean? <laughs> Bro, by the way, gyms need to open up, by the way. Man, I saw, I saw. We're going to do a segue, too, off that, bro. Muscling up, bro. I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. What's your favorite thing about black women? We finna, this is this is a black girl magic podcast right now, bro. My favorite women, favorite thing about black women is yeah. how hard they fight for the men that they love. And how hard, you know, like, they go for black men. Like, I love that. Bro, they That's the best thing. Like, they, they really be like women in Wakanda for real. Once they buy, like, they got a lot of fight in them, bro. They do. Like, for real. It don't matter. If they don't like something, they finna fight for it. They care they wrong. They gonna keep fighting. I'm like, bro, women to get out on social media and back women up. Even if they wrong, they don't care. They they just feel like they can relate to the other women. So they just be like, I don't care. You can do it like this. Like, bro, they do know it's wrong to what they saying, right? Like, they will fight. Yo, black men didn't learn that though. Black men don't care, bro. You wrong, man. Like no other man, bro. We, we don't. We can we cancel you, brother. We don't like you. What you mean? You, you like well, put it in since you don't want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> nigga don't want to listen. He fuck that nigga. Oh, he a simp. What you see, nigga? You over there kissing that? You want <laughs> niggas always fighting, bro? But when you see females on social media, they clean up on your ass quick. Boy. It don't matter if it's for the black man or the woman. They gonna click up and they gonna be loud. <laughs> they gonna be loud, boy. Yeah. They gonna control the whole conversation too. Which is called black women get on with that on sip. I'm playing, but oh. <laughs> but seriously though, no, but like you said, what you saying, real, bro? They go hard, bro, and they ride with you, man. Older black women, bro. Them old men with dog, bro. I'm sorry, man. my grandpa was a dog. I ain't gonna lie, he was a rolling stone. Yeah, he know they he was a rolling stone. People, call- they, bro, they, they. They couldn't really get caught back then, so they were just doing stuff. If you got caught back then, you were being stupid. But my, they know though. Them black women knew. I like my grandma didn't know. All of a sudden, my uh, and black, old black men was uh, they weird too, bro. It's funny though. I love them. I love hearing old black people talk, bro. They literally be like, my grandpa had two. Uh, my mama had Max Seabury had a the Native American half Native American half black. So I'm, you know, what I'm saying that's my. Diverse. That joker had another child at the same time as my uncle Otis was born. Guess what the other child name was? Otis. <laughs> they born the same year. Cause he had both of them named Otis. Guess what? But guess what? When he saw him, when he saw him, if he with my mama now, and he saw my uncle Red, and he called him Otis, everybody thought he was talking about the other Otis, so he could never mess up. <laughs> Like, what if, what if you had another child named some mess and you say his name? They're going to be like, who is that, right? They're going to be like, who is that? I don't know who that is. I don't know who Michael is. Who is Michael? No, I just don't want to be no bad person, man. I just want to live righteous, man. <laughs> I just want to do right by people and, and be happy, man. That's all I want to do, man. Every, 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 and, every, every, and, and they knew they were doing wrong, bro. And them, them the bad women roll I mean, yeah, I ain't go. I'm perfect because I done did stuff too, but I was, I ain't know no better. You feel me? But I know not because I've been hurt before and I hurt people before, and neither one of them made me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's got them girls trying to kill him? Talking about this your dream? <laughs> oh yeah, bro, that shit was crazy. I was like, this shoe? What's got them this shoe too? First, I was like, bro, somebody really want to bother me, like. I don't do nothing to nobody, so why is you sending me pictures of my address talking about it? This you? Yeah, this your address? Like, okay, pull up over here and see what happened. It's a whole big bazooka in this mud that you're going to catch. Hey, but we don't advocate violence, you know what I'm saying? We love. I ain't but, advocating violence. Nah, I just said let's, we advocate yeah. self-defense. That's what we, advocate. <laughs> we advocate self-defense, not violence. Spotify, I'm don't scared of myself. Yeah, Spotify, don't cancel me. <laughs> Don't cancel us, y'all. I just want to be safe. Yeah, right. I want to live a life. But yeah, black women ride for you, bro. They are. Hey, that's the, my favorite attribute about them. They like they will ride if they they ain't really gotta fuck with you to be honest. If they feel like they can relate or something rubbing them or they can feel it, they finna start riding. 
Bro, shout out to Bree, one of our hot, hardest riders for overall nine nine. Shout out to Bree Lane. We gotta get, we gotta get on the yeah, podcast too, man. Right. Oh, we gotta get on. Look at you. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at, look at this. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Fifteen hundred. Who would have thought? Look at this. Look at us. <laughs> How you did that? We gotta bring her back on. She was on one of. Yeah, she, she went on the podcast. She was, a, was she on the podcast? She was on something we did. I think it was on another. Cha- it was some other podcast we started, but I had internet issues, and then I forgot how to do it. But you gotta bring Breeski back, man. Yeah, but, sh- but shout out to Black Bird. They ride for you. Hey, bro, the older I get, the more I love dark skin women. That's something that's been happening lately to me. Like my biggest crush is now like Scotty Beam and Ryan Disney. Who? Scotty Beam and Ryan Destiny. You know that? Know. Or, or she don't know. What about Justine Sky, bro? Come on now. I heard that name before. Come I on. think I've seen it before, but. Bro, man, you got bro, you gotta get with this chocolate, bro. You losing out, bro. There's a lot of women in the world, man. I don't I can't keep up with them all. <laughs> bro, I'm, trying, I'm finna put you on some chocolate, bro. We're gonna put on some dark skin women. I love I love all them. I love all tones though, but man, this chocolate is a winner. Them. Chocolate women winning right now, bro. By the way, hit that like button and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Hit that follow button if you are on Spotify or any other podcast network. This podcast probably titled Black Girl Magic. Because even though we only talked about the last 20 minutes, but so what? Uh, I hope you listened to the whole 20 minutes and now you hear me. <laughs> <laughs> but Juneteenth, yeah, big news on Juneteenth, man. Um, Live podcast going to be live on YouTube. That means y'all can actually talk to us. So I'll be on our... Uh, uh, we're going to support whatever, man, or people. If you got a Twitch link, we'll show us some stuff, man. You got highlight, man. Send it our way, bro. We'll look at it. Um, I'll figure out how to set this screen up so we can do that. It's gonna somebody, be a- somebody, oh, we need to put a donate button down so it's, they can help me uh, buy my new webcams or my my, my, <laughs> my Facebook uh, we we'll, we'll have multiple goals, by the way. We have multiple donation goals. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to set that up. And I've got to do it. And I gotta do um, I gotta do uh the we gonna try might try to find charity too, but we gonna try to show love, man. Uh, I, I find a cha- I don't just give the any charity because I'm like re- like I see it from my relationship thing, bro. I have like trust issues because I know how these, I, bro. I know how these nonprofits do, bro. They be stealing, bro, and I can't do, I can't deal, bro. Like, you ain't finna steal from my bill. Nobody but the people I came with. Yeah, bro. I don't. I know how these people are, bro. They'll they'll give most of the money away, but then they'll keep pocket some just to pocket. And it ain't even that, that. I expect you to give salaries out to people to help you, but some of y'all just pocket money, don't it? Just to pocket it. You know what I mean? Y'all become community leaders just to pocket money. I, I, and I will talk about somebody that did that for a long time later on one day, but today ain't today because today positivity and we raise, we uplifting the black man and the black woman, cis, trans, whatever. I don't care. I love everybody. Hello, this is called growth, baby. This what it's called. We growing. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't always felt like that about everybody, bro. I, was, I hated people, bro. I ain't gonna nah, I didn't. I'm lying. I was the nicest person ever, but I just didn't like y'all lying to me. <laughs> that's that's where me and Trevor come, where we link at. We we like the nicest people on earth, and like, you know what I'm saying? Put both our brains together. We just want people to be happy. We want we want people to. Love each other and be great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we come in there. Like, we don't have like a negative bone in our body. Yeah, man. But still, yeah. somehow people gonna look at us and see something negative about us somewhere. I don't understand where they gonna find it or how they look at us and figure it, figure that out. But we ain't got one negative bone in our body to think about hurting somebody or bring somebody down. We always wanna lift people. Yeah, man, that's what this week gonna be about. I'm gonna make a lot of uplift. Even though I'm still gotta call out crap I see, but I'm gonna try to be as positive as I can be on Juneteenth, all Juneteenth week. So we're gonna be very positive. Going to have some great content. Shout out to Ricky Man K Blinks, man. My man, a game on Twitch, man. I'm just showing some love to random people. I Toxic Nuck. Just showing love to, man. Just show love to people, man. Shout out to CTMG Todd off on the sip with his music. He popping off. Yeah, man. Shout out to my boy for a ride. Green, straight from Monticello, Mississippi. He went to school at Western Mississippi, bro. Played at Mississippi State, playing for the coach right now. You hear? Shout out to Mario Shout Davis. That's the name y'all know, bro. Twan Jackson. Man, don't. 
Twan got my favorite song. I'm sorry, Move is my favorite song. I told him that a hundred times. That's our boy Twan, man. That's our boy, man. Our whole boy, man. That's my dog, man. He been with us from the beginning, dog. Move. From the beginning. Move out, get out of my way. Oh, yes, sir. What do I say? Move. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, that song's so lit. You don't hear it yet, Wes? How long you, you don't hear that move song? Oh, uh, I seen you post it, though. Bro, I love that song. That's like, it's literally like how I feel every day. I like therapy, though. Oh, therapy. Nice. Twan got some hits, bro. That move, that move was a nice um hook, too, for his style. I'm like, oh, you figuring it out slowly, bro. Then he got cast oh, away. Yeah. Shout out to my boy, Future Key Chris, my guy. Uh, I show West to him, too. Young, young, hey, bro, young, nice. young homie, bro. Got He remind me so much of you. I ain't lying, bro. Oh, nice. Especially young you. Chris remind me so much of young you. From his hairstyle, his style. <laughs> I'm like, is this my best friend? Man, bro. He like 19. I'm like, this is my best friend when he was 19 when I met him. <laughs> he different, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We some different dudes, bro. Yeah, I'm like, bro. Shout out to we show- I just want to show love today. This is what this episode about. I know it wasn't funny as we- normally, but we're gonna get back to it. But the, the world it is, it's funny, y'all. Look at Trevor No. Yeah, it's sexy. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that smile. That smile is beautiful, bro. Look at this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I know, y'all. I know where it's ugly. Y'all got to deal with it. But we're going to give him a better webcam. We're going to give him a better. He's going to give him a better webcam. Second grade. You can't tell me nothing. I don't know. Yeah, bro. Look at it. He know. How long he know you're ugly? But yeah, man. We're going to. We gonna get we gonna get back fun, but y'all need y'all need to know information. Y'all just want to know a little bit more about us. I just want to give y'all a little podcast more about what we like, a little flaws and everything. Show us we human, bro. Showing the yeah, show we just want to show we human. You know what I mean? So I just want to give y'all a little real human podcast. Talked about a little relationship. Show a little love to black people. You know what I mean? Nothing against white people. I love y'all too. I'm gonna show y'all a lot of love too, man. A lot, I see oh, yeah. a lot of y'all out there cel- supporting, celebrating. Boy, Aaron Switch. That's my dog. Shout out to my boy Ethan Bradshaw. That's my dog. Ethan, a I gotta get Ethan on here, bro. I need him up. Ethan Bradshaw. I need him Ethan up. Matter. We need Matt Bradshaw. That's my dog. We might need to get him on the podcast too. We gotta start adding people. To that. I wanna get Matt on the brand. Man, get Matt out here, bro. Yeah, we gotta get him on. Shout out to my boy Mutual Klein. Yeah. Mr. Gas 9, GH9. That's my boy. Mr. Aquaman. Aquaman. You see the color? Aquaman, we rapping. You feel me, bro? I got people everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Latinos out there. I fuck with y'all. Shout out to my Mexicanos. I love my Mexican friends. Mystique, what you doing, Shout it. You know I fuck with you. Well, yeah, we're about to end the podcast. Um... I think I I think the little hangout thing that kind of messed up, but we cool. Trevor messed it up, y'all. Nah, it's just doing. Don't put Trevor in charge of nothing, y'all. He gonna mess it up. No, nah, it just it just lasted an hour and it's and it messed up when it go over. An hour. So hey. we gonna end the podcast. Hey, I'm gonna have right now. I know a lot of y'all like what happened to y'all beautiful faces. What happened to me? What happened to your beautiful face? I know y'all miss it. I know you miss the smile. Y'all don't wanna see me. But yeah, but. I'm going to put pictures of us over and blah, 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 and it's going to look good on YouTube. But YouTube won't be out till later uh, Monday night. Well, this will be out on Spotify Monday morning. So I just want to show love, man. It's going to be out in the morning for for the Spotify and podcast. Listen, it'll be on YouTube later tomorrow night. So, so that's what it is. Y'all sweet people. Thank you for listening to your favorite new Monday morning podcast with your favorite crew. La Alpha himself, Zell May, and the kid himself, kid created player, artist that made the bottom and bubble up the the loved songs by y'all. He got other songs too. Listen to them for once, man. gonna be tripping out on that new song I got. Boy, you know that about? Oh man, I can't wait, y'all. I love y'all. I know y'all gonna enjoy this guy. Told me. Oh. I already told me. Oh, we back now. We back. Uh, the thing fixed itself, but okay. So y'all get to see my face one more time for y'all go. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, show me your ugly face real quick. So, 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 so. Oh, bad, bro. Y'all don't love her. Yeah, look at this. That's that face that only a mother could love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
That's why I always call all this girl mommy because he thinks that's all the way it up. <laughs> all right, but I love y'all though, man. For real. Ooh, your favorite Monday morning podcast. Come back every Monday morning on Spotify and other podcast networks. Hit us up on YouTube yeah. every Monday night. We love y'all. I might put another video up before this, though, but it's going to be, I'm going to do this after. But, Wes, anything you want to tell the people before you go? What can they find? You got any new music out? Anything they need to update on? Yes, sir. I just want y'all to reach out and love somebody tomorrow. Get your prayers up, y'all. Just, you know, love somebody that you, you, you haven't loved before. Get some love out to somebody you think may need it tomorrow. You feel me? And if you can, guys, go and check out my music on any major music platform. You know, run those numbers up so we may in turn give more love to y'all. Of course, I got more music coming out. Not in July, we're going to wait a little while. We're going to chill. We're going to let the protest have its attention so we can, you know, bring change to the world, you know. And plus, the pandemic, I ain't worried about that. We're going to step on all over the pandemic. But we're going to show love to protest and, and bring attention to awareness to what's going on in the world. We can keep change, but... Go to the bottom screen going crazy right now, y'all on Spotify. If you can't put it in your your favorite playlist, go listen to it on YouTube. Trends going up on there too. We get a lot of love. I got Jenny, you know talking about show some love and if we can, y'all. Send us anything we can we can promote for y'all for y'all small businesses. Yeah, we'll be and, live uh, on YouTube so you can actually talk to us. We'll even play your music, man. If anybody wants some features or some beats from me, um reach out to um my email. Yeah. Oh no, you know what? Reach out to Trevor. Let him deal with them. Man. I can deal with it. Trevor got it. He Trevor, y'all. If y'all want to rock out on some beats with me or some tracks, you know. Well, he Trevor up. Wear him to death. Tell him I need a beat. Well, do overall nine nine e n t g g at gmail dot com. That's me and Wes. Cause Wes got access to it too. He be trying to front like he don't have access to it. So we both can look at. But by the way, even though you can send a donation in and. We'll look at it and we'll play it on there. If you want to donate at the same time, send your music so we 100% get it just in case. This is the 1500 special. We yeah. Well, this ain't a special. This is episode three, but yeah. it's, we fought, we hit it. So uh, yeah. we hit 1500. I love y'all. Wazam Alphas. Can I get Can an alpha get a Wazam before we go? Hit yeah. him in the comments. I love y'all, man. Peace. Peace. And I remember Black Girl Magic. I support y'all queens forever. That's the title of podcast. I support y'all forever. I forever love y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Okay, we done with that.